Hello, everybody. This is Susan Gerbrick coming to you live, live, live from my front yard. <laughs> so I bought these tomatoes. They were at CVS for like $1.50 or, you know, with discounts, I got them to about $1.50. And I planted in my front yard. These are leftovers. They were not supposed to be at all um, part of the crop this year, but I felt like I wanted to plant some more. And I said, well, the hell with it. I'm putting in my front yard. So I dug holes. So I want to show you what I'm doing because I'm not buying cages. I put these bamboo things, like 15 bucks, and I put those so that I would, you know, not mow over them and all that. So here they are. They're doing well. It's been a few weeks. I put string on them. I'm making it up as I go along. I refuse to buy cages because, I mean, come on. I don't want to buy more bunch of cages. I've already got a ton of cages for the tomatoes in the backyard. But I thought I'd show you how I'm doing, <laughs> how they're coming along. Some of them are coming along better than others. We have, obviously, tomatoes starting here. See? There's tomatoes. We got one or so off of one of the other ones the other day. And what I'm doing to hold them up is I got a bunch of old plastic coat hangers that were just sitting in the garage in a box. And that seems to be working pretty good. Look at the ones over here in the shade. And they're also, well, they're in the shade part of the day, but also they're against this hot wall of the house. And so when the sun in the afternoon hits the wall, it reflects the sun back onto the tomatoes. So it's probably why they're doing so well, these four tomatoes here, because of the sun hitting and warming them. Plus, they're just doing so well. So this is my hanger, hanger art. If I already wasn't the crazy lady on the street, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely there now. Look at them. So it's working okay. That way I can kind of move around and I'll be able to harvest the tomatoes when they come in. But uh, I should tell you, my uh, apricots and my plums and my peaches and had no fruit this year. I've, actually, I take that back. We had one plum. Don't know why. They're watered, they're green, they're growing. We had buds, nothing, nothing. And I had about five cherries, which is not that unusual. I think last year I had probably 15 or 20, but my fruit trees produced nothing this year. I'm going to have grapes coming like crazy, conquer grapes, but you know. Anyway, so I thought you might want to check out my tomatoes in the front yard on the grass. I, I'd like to have just made the whole front yard tomatoes. I, I could do that. All this garden, tear up all the lawn and make it just vegetables. That I would be okay with that. 